Hi, I am your coach Steven. This is the employee self-service landing page. And in this video, I am going to explain to you that how you can update your job skills and functional experience. Here is the section for that now let's start by pressing here. Where you can see the date, change type, and status. Now on the right side, I am pressing the add button to add new information. The record number is auto-generated by the system and the record date is auto-submitted. Now here is the change type if we select experience profile then we have to update experience profile details on the next stage. We can also enter changes overview if we want. Then you can see the approver name in submitted to. Here you can see experience profile details where you have to select job function from the list. And then experience criteria from period, dates, and duration. If we select period, dates, then we have to enter the start date and end date in the period section. Or if we select duration then we have to input experience year here. Now we have to select employer type from current and previous. If we select current then we have to select reporting manager. And if we select previous then we have to enter employer name, employer industry from the list, country, and city. Now let's move to the previous stage and change the type. If we select employee skills then we have to update employee skills details on the next stage. Here we have to select skill type. After that, you can also put skill description if you want. Then you can select the achievement you want to update. From certification, experience, review based. Then you can put the skill experience here. Now you can also see your name and the date here. Now let's move to the previous stage and change the type. If we select accreditation then we have to update accreditation details on the next stage. Here we have to select accreditation type from academic certification, professional, credits and other. And then we have to select accreditation from the list. And then we can also select certification. Then we can put score, validation and accreditation date. You can save the record by pressing the submit button. But now I am cancelling it. And in this section, you can see what you are currently having. Like how many job skills you have, how many experiences are included in your profile, and how many accreditation has currently existed in your profile. That's all for this video and thanks for watching.